Hello everyone and welcome to Boundless Dentistry. In this video we will talk about serial extraction which is one of the interceptive treatment used for orthodontic patients. First we will start off defining what serial extraction then talking about some indications and contraindications explaining in which patients do we use serial extraction and in which patients we cannot use it. Then we will talk about some advantages and disadvantages of using serial extraction. Furthermore talking about the actual procedure when a serial extraction is performed and then talking about the current treatment uh, modalities regarding serial extraction whether it is used or not used and what are the future research associated with serial extraction so let's get started now what is serial extraction serial extraction is one of the interceptive treatment for orthodontic patients in which during early mixed dentition when some deciduous are, teeth are being exfoliated and permanent teeth are erupting during this early mixed dentition stage this treatment of serial extraction is initiated in which deciduous teeth and some permanent teeth are extracted from the oral cavity so that the remaining permanent uh, dentition which will erupt in the oral cavity they occupy their normal position in the oral cavity or in the arch thereby avoiding severe crowding when the dentist knows that some crowding or in this case severe crowding will occur so deciduous teeth along with some permanent teeth are extracted and in most cases along with serial extraction when it's performed later on comprehensive treatment is also required for the patient in order to uh, get the normal alignment of the arch the teeth now talking about indications where serial extraction can be performed is that for example if the arch length in maxilla or mandible is less as compared to tooth material where tooth material is more but the arch length of either maxilla or mandible is less so the arch entire arch of maxilla or mandible cannot accommodate all of the teeth because its size is less so crowding will occur so this is the main indication of performing serial extraction then is class 1 malocclusion where serial extraction can be performed also where no skeletal abnormality is present in either maxilla or mandible they, uh, they should be normal in their structure as well as their condition fourth is the severe crowding in patients where there is severe crowding serial extraction can be performed and lastly patients with straight profile because we have straight convex and concave patients with straight profile are ideally selected for performing serial extractions on the other hand there are some contraindications in which serial extraction should not be performed in the patients these include patients presenting to the clinic with class 2 and class 3 malocclusion where there is space dentition because there is already space present so serial extraction should not be performed patients coming to the clinic with anodontia and oligodontia this simply means that anodontia means patients without teeth and oligodontia means patients with few teeth so in that cases serial extraction should be performed patients presenting with open bite and deep bite because these are other conditions which require different treatment so serial extraction should not be performed patients with midline diastema because they already have space so serial extraction wouldn't that wouldn't be that useful and finally patients presenting with class 1 malocclusion with minimal space because space is already present so which will tend to lead to mild to moderate crowding as compared to serial extraction which is performed in patients mostly with severe extraction severe crowding now there are three main methods where serial extraction is performed first is duels method which is most commonly used and second is tweeds and nance method which tweeds and nance method is almost similar so these two are less performed duels method is the main method that is performed in patients requiring serial extractions now firstly talking in detail about Dwell's method. In Dwell's method, firstly it's performed in three steps. In three steps, three different extractions are performed. In this first picture you can see that the deciduous canine on which this X is marked, this is extracted. The deciduous canine on the primary canine is extracted. And the main reason for extracting the primary canine is so that the permanent incisors which will erupt, their alignment is normal in ideal condition. Second, second is extraction of the deciduous molar. You can see this X mark over here, the deciduous molar, the first molar, this is extracted. Now, 
because this is extracted the first premolar that is that will erupt in its position its eruption is accelerated because this will lead to us to the third step which is extracting this first premolar because in orthodontics mostly premolars are extracted so that space can be created to uh, intercept the crowding and lead to ideal occlusion so in third and last step the first uh, premolar is extracted and so that the canine can erupt in its guided position and normal alignment can be achieved. In some cases, a complication of serial extraction can be occurred, which is due to premature eruption of the permanent canines. When this occurs, the first premolars are impacted between the canines and second premolar. When this situation occurs, because the permanent canine prematurely erupts, so this leads to impaction of the first mole, premolar. So when this occurs, enucleation is performed when the first premolar is removed surgically because, because the canine has erupted prematurely. So the pre first premolar is impacted within the bone. So surgical treatment is opted to uh, remove the first premolar which is known as enucleation. Now further talking about Tweed's method which is similar to Lance's method. In this method the first molar, deciduous molar is extracted around the age of 8. You can see this marked with star. This first deciduous molar is extracted at the, at the age of 8 years old. And then the extraction of first premolar is performed simultaneously with deciduous canine. These steps are also performed so that the remaining permanent uh, teeth erupt in their normal position so that uh, the normal alignment can be achieved and this tweeds method is similar to the lens method you can see in this first picture the first molar deciduous molar is removed and then in the second picture you can see this canine deciduous canine and the first premolar are removed these two you can see in this picture marked with star so the first the deciduous molar is removed and then the first premolar along with deciduous canine is removed. Moreover, there are certain advantages of performing serial extraction. First is that the teeth that are to erupt in the oral cavity after the extraction of deciduous and some permanent teeth, they tend to erupt in their normal position. So this is more of a physiological treatment. Second, when comprehensive treatment is to be used in a patient, its duration is reduced or eliminated when serial extraction is performed. Third, oral hygiene can be better performed when serial extraction has been used because there is decreased risk of caries. And, sec and fourthly, there is lesser retention period indicated because teeth are in their normal position so there won't be any relapse. And finally, the results are more stable when using serial extractions. On the other hand, there are certain disadvantages of performing serial extraction. Firstly, Clinical judgment is required because th this uh, treatment approach cannot be used in all patients because if it's not properly used, the results of the patient, final results will be worsened as compared to if the, the patient was left at, as it is. So this is a disadvantage of serial extraction. Second is treatment is prolonged. It requires at least two to three years to have a proper occlusion of the patient. And as this treatment requires a long period of time, visits to the dental surgeon are increased. So that's a disadvantage. And there is increased overbite of the patient. And finally, as we have discussed before, if the treatment is not performed properly, it will worsen the situa situation of the patient. Lastly, talking about the current situation regarding the use of serial extraction, this method is not, in, is not infrequently used as compared to the comprehensive treatment which includes aligners and edgewise appliance which is more commonly known as braces. And secondly, patients are to be chosen very carefully when we are to perform serial extraction because as we have discussed before, if the patient is not properly chosen which is suitable for performing serial extraction, the situation will worsen as compared to the before result. And finally, even if you perform serial extraction, the patient will require comprehensive treatment in the future. Either the duration will be reduced or if you worsen the situation, the duration of comprehensive treatment will increase. So this was all about serial extraction. We discussed what is serial extraction. We talked about disadvantages and advantages of serial extraction. 
followed by different methods which are used to perform serial extraction, certain indication and contraindication and the current use of performing serial extraction. So I hope this video was useful for you and if you found this video useful then please like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. And Thank you for watching. See you next time.